Hey everybody, welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for a fragrance review today. Today I'm gonna to take a look at a clone fragrance, a fragrance that's an impression of one of my favorite masculine 80s powerhouse colognes. The cologne that, the one I'm gonna to review today is, uh, I guess impersonating, is Dracar Noir. So recently I did a video where I talked about the Jacar Noir family line, like a lot of different fragrances that fall into that same category that smell like it or very similar. I actually mentioned this one, but I kind of wanted to do an in-depth review because I think out of all the ones that I have, uh, not including Caesars, that one I like more than Jacar Noir, probably the only one that's in that line that I like more than Jacar Noir. But this is a, a legitimate clone. The name sounds almost identical, and it's by a house called Al Rehab. So I'm sure you guys immediately know once I said that it is Dakar by Al Rehab. So, I have two different Dakar products here by Al Rehab. I got the spray, which I got first, and then recently I, I saw some reviews on the uh, roll-on oil, and I got one of those too. So we'll look at the presentation. I'll go over the fragrance's notes. Note uh, breakdown is pretty simple. I'll talk about its performance on my skin, give it my overall thoughts, and then my overall numerical rating. So uh, we'll jump into the presentation. Pretty much identical for these things too. We'll take a look at this first box. So you got this kind of like granite stone looking pattern here in the box with gold outline everywhere. It says crown perfumes there, some sort of symbol there. Looks like a D, maybe that's the Al Rehab symbol. I'm not sure this is the only fragrance from Al Rehab that I own at the moment. Um, we'll take a look here, it says Dakar. So it's D-A-K-A-R as opposed to Drakar by Gila Roche. So this is by Al Rehab. On the top, you got a little symbol there, something that says Al Rehab, and then uh, Arabic writing on the back. You got some brand information, you know, uh, barcode. Eh, wait, looks like we don't have that on this one too. So um, box is pretty cheap. Again, these are very, very inexpensive fragrances. These can be had for six bucks, maximum eight dollars, depending on where you're buying it from. I think this one was, I think, six dollars. These were about five bucks. So the presentation on this one is pretty much the same looks wise. You got a little bit of a different, you know, pattern there when it comes to the, the way the uh, font is, but it's like a triangular pyramid box here. So um, barcode on the bottom where this one does not have it, it has it on the side. And of course on the side here, not much going on to a little bit of a tear, a little rip in transit there that happened when I got this one. So I've had this one for a little while. This is a um, 1.7, so it's a 50 ml bottle. This is a six milliliter bottle of the roll on oil. So open it up, it opens up like this, kind of got this flap in here, take it off. The roll-on oil looks like silver top, glass, sticker on there, wrap that around here, it's pretty much saying Dakar, not that great of a presentation in terms of the sticker, but again, it's very, very inexpensive, so who cares about that? On the top there, you got something I think that says, what's that say here, I can't, it says Al Rehab, you can't see it, sorry. And then you got the roll-on oil. These are actually, Security wise in terms of the the liquid in there not that great I got the package and I could smell this through the package So it had a wrap on it plus the packaging in the middle and then the box So uh, it really is strong because I could smell it all the way through when I got the package You know a few, a few days ago, too So the roll-on oil there you can see it's leaking a little bit, but that's fine um, So we'll put this one down. I'll open up the spray bottle so you guys can take a look at this one this one's a little bit, this was a little, a little bit better. This glass is pretty heavy duty. The top there, Al Rehab, and it says Dakar. You can take a look at that there. Pretty nice lettering here too. It's interesting. It's nice to see, um, you know, a, a nice clone there with bottle presentation. The sprayer's actually really good. You can see that very strong burst there. You can see the crimping on that too, but again, what do you expect? And nothing on the back and on the bottom, you got some embossed lettering. I actually like it when it's embossed lettering as opposed to a sticker. And there are fragrances that cost a lot more than this that have a sticker on the bottom too. So let's talk about the notes of Dakar. It is sage, amber, moss, sandalwood, agarwood or oud, you know, whatever you want to call it, cedar, spicy notes, and watery notes. Um, the most prevalent notes in this one are definitely the moss for sure. It's this very green and very wet grass scent, very earthy. That's what I get most. And the sandalwood as well too. Maybe a little bit of oud in there too. That always goes, you know, coincides with the earthy description. Um, the performance on these are really, really good. These are like beastly, at least on my skin. I saw a couple people mention that they didn't get that great uh, performance on this one, but I thought it was awesome. Um, I get all day long, eight plus hours, no questions asked with the spray or the oil. Um, the oil I've been recently trying, that's what I'm wearing today. And I have it just, you know, rub it on my arms. You know, the way that one works too, kind of just go like that or on the top there. 
um, and you know on your neck as well too. That, those are great spots for pretty, pretty pretty much any pulse points where you normally would spray a fragrance. If you combine these two, the performance is even crazier. So uh, the projection is easily three hours. Siage is you know incredible. People are going to smell you when you enter the building. This is very very strong, so you don't want to overdo it. Um, the performance on this is excellent, so you cannot complain about uh, Albert Hab Dakar performance wise. So when I Think about this fragrance of what I and what I compare it to the regular Jacquard Noir. I actually sprayed regular Jacquard current formulation on, on this wrist. And the difference between these two, this one is a little cleaner. This one has that locker room deodorant fresh shave shaving cream smell, which I actually really like. And this one doesn't. So I've read that this was like a dirtier, this is earthier, more, more mossy, where this one is a little cleaner. But I've read that this one is closer to what the vintage Dracar Noir smelled like. And I don't own that. I've looked online. I've almost pulled the trigger. But every time I've been worried that, um, number one, they're not cheap. Number two, that I'm going to get uh, the same result like I did with Ungaro Pour La Homme 3. Or it's turned and I don't want to spend the money and then have to go through the whole return process and have it just be smelling like that vinegar scent. I hate that. And that's how I immediately know something's gone bad. But um, I still really, really like this. This is awesome. And it's so inexpensive. It's an awesome alternative to Jacquard Noir. Not that Jacquard Noir current formulation is expensive, but it's not the cheapest cologne out there, too. It's, uh, this is a fraction of that, of that cost, so you can't complain about the cost for this. It definitely has that Jacquard DNA. Um, I can only compare it to this one, but it's a mothier, earthy, earthier, smokier scent, too. Uh, Performance-wise, um, it, it's it's incredible, just like um, just like this one. So even it's funny, even with having the spray and the oil of Dakar on me today, I actually sprayed this one. And as I was you know getting my notes ready for this video, um, I smelled the Dakar Noir. So I get great performance from this one. I know a lot of people say that they don't, but I still do. But um, I think that this one will last a little longer. But that one might project at least in this instance before the video. But this one lacks that shaving cream freshness, that cleaner freshness. Again, it's a little bit dirtier, but it's definitely an awesome masculine scent, very masculine. I think this could work in all seasons. Maybe you go a little bit lighter on it in the summertime. You can go a little bit heavier in the cooler months, but this is definitely an all-season clone. You could wear it daytime, nighttime. You could be safe for work. It's a uh, you know, good daily. You could wear it out casually. You could wear it out to a club, I think, too. If Again, if you just apply it lightly, too. If you go heavy on it, I wouldn't do those to those places. I would kind of... Uh, wear it you know, in my own personal space if I were going to go really heavy, but it smells awesome and it's very masculine and it's going to be different from what's out there. It's definitely not a blue mall scent for by any means too, so I, I really like this one. Um, age range, I think 25 plus could pull this one off. It's very versatile and I think it scores a lot of points in, in that regard. So um, presentation for, the, for um, Dakar, I'm going to go through the ratings now. You know, obviously, what do you expect for six dollars? It's not going to be incredible, so I'll give it a seven out of ten. Uh, the performance is a nine out of ten for sure, and the smell is a nine out of ten. The only thing, if it could just maybe master that shaving cream scent, that freshness, the cleaner scent that Jacquard Noir, which I love, has, that would get a ten out of ten for me. But overall, this is an eight and a half out of ten. This is an awesome purchase, and you can't go wrong if you get it. So definitely check it out, whether you like the spray or you like the oil or you like both. Um, this is my first experience with any Al Rehab fragrance, uh, but I wanted to get it because I know I really enjoy Jacquard Noir. So definitely check either one of these out. This is even less expensive, and these last, the equally performance-wise, are great. The smell is the same. This is maybe a little bit deeper because it's a perfume oil, uh, where this is a spray, and I believe this is uh, an Eau de Parfum concentration too. So um, definitely check it out. If you have any experience with um, Al Rehab scents, let me know in the comments. I want to know which ones are going to be good to get next. I have two on the way. One is Silver, which I, I apparently is a Creed Silver Mountain Water Cologne. Never tried that one before. And then I have one called Lord. As soon as I read the description that it's a mix of like Lapidus, Borom, and Koros in an oil, I absolutely had to buy that one. So those reviews will be coming next one. Next, excuse me. But uh, Dakar by Albrey Hab is an awesome scent. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much uh, for watching, commenting, and make sure you guys subscribe. Take care.